अनुसंधान ऑल गुजरात इंटीग्रेटेड क्लासरूम सैटेलाइट ना माध्यम थी जोड़ती कड़ी इतले संधान हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज लिटरेरी फीचर्स ऑफ एलिजाबेथन एज नाउ फॉर अ लिटरेचर स्टूडेंट व्हाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो अबाउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ लिटरेचर विल स्टार्ट विद दैट सी all these poets writers novelist basically what they are doing what they are they are artist and if you talk about artist basically what they do whatever they feel whatever is there in their mind they simply try to project that particular thing through their writing through their painting or through their imagination no the social scenario the social economic and the poor political scenario is very much connected to all these works reason if the surrounding if the atmosphere is a pleasant one so automatically the romantic poetry will come um, through a poet if everybody there is full of darkness full of uh, miseries full of sadness so automatically a artist will start drawing a dark painting and that is the reason that here in the literature even somehow the political social and economic situation the reflect of all these things will be able to find in the work of these writers now today we'll talk about the literary features of the elizabethan age if we talk about elizabethan age straight away the one thing will come at front of our mind is the golden era of english literature now why it is golden era of english literature first of all we'll start with the uh, with the time so the age of go- the elizabethan age is from 1550 to 1620 Now, if we talk about Elizabethan age, just before Elizabethan age, that was fifteenth century. And if we we'll see the fifteenth century, the whole fifteenth century was full of darkness. There was no no beauty. There was so many troubles in the society, even in political issues. There were so many political issues, and that is the reason that somehow we can see the reflection of all these problem in the in the work of the literature. So that was the era where there were so many problems. so many political issues so many religious issues to say and somehow we can see that that darkness will be able to feel in the works of literature now after 15th century when it comes towards the elizabethan age now that was the age of the golden era in english literature and behind all this thanks who was there of course the queen elizabeth who was ascended on the crown in 1558 and she was the she was the lady who turned the whole scenario who turned the whole uh, situation of religious problems and the political issues and the social issues so if we see towards the features of the elizabethan age will be able to find that elizabethan age there were social and political contentment now the queen elizabeth who was who was very good in her decision who were very good in making pl- uh, uh, policies and she is the one who settled down all the problems what were going on among um, the religious issues as well as the political and social issues now uh, that particular era the elizabethan era was not golden only for the literature that era was golden even for the uh, political politics even for uh, religious even for uh, social even for um, the technology science everything i must say now we'll start with the characteristics of liter- uh, elizabethan era the first characteristics of elizabethan era was there was a political and social um settlement So as I said, that just before Elizabethan age, when when we were talking about the fifteenth century, there was darkness. There were problem in the society. They were facing uh, issues in the in the in the politics as well as in religious. But after, um, the Queen Elizabeth, she came, and in, in power, 
and then because of her policies and her good decisions she tried to settle down all the problems whatever were going on now she tackled all the situation and she tried to maintain the peace in the scotland and somehow the main fo- the main where she focused was that she tried to remove the gap between the poor and the rich and she focused on the rich uh she focused on the poor people and she tried to help out that she tried to remove the gap in in the society she tried to remove the gap between the rich and the poor so that they can uh like they, they can remove the problems in the society so that was her first step where she was um really tried through her policies to remove all these social political issues the second important thing was that this particular era was era of peace as i said that the queen elizabeth she tried to remove um all the troubles in the society so there were peace everywhere and it's quite very obvious if your surrounding is a peace one if there is no such issues like political and religious and uh, um social so if there is peace everywhere it's quite very obvious that the writer will write with a very positive feeling as you'll see that during the time of the uh, world war all the writers you'll you'll see if you'll read the poetry of those writers you'll feel some darkness in their poetry now if we'll talk about 20th century or 19th century the more about the poets were focusing towards the reality of the society so as i as i as i said that somehow the impact of the society and the political issues is directly or indirectly is coming through the writing of the writers and that same was happening here in the elizabeth age as i said that there were peace everywhere so automatically the writers whatever they are writing there were um there were joy there were happiness there were romance right there were variety so somehow in their because there were peace in their life so automatically those emotions are coming through their writing and as i said that that era was golden age not because of the political and social uh, condition it was golden era even for the literature now if we talk about religious problem the main religious problem before queen elizabeth was that the whole catholic was divided into two part that whole christianity i must say that divided into two part one was protestant and another was catholics now earlier once the government was supporting the the uh, protestant and the other government was supporting catholics but queen elizabeth what she did she somehow try to manage a bridge try to remove the gap between both of them now after of her she was trying to treat both of these um uh, sections of religious she try to maintain the balance between both of them and that is the reason that she was able to maintain the peace among the among the religious issues so the the whole nation was divided the whole christianity was divided into two part and that is the reason that somehow always they are they are facing these troubles and queen elizabeth what she did somehow um between both of them the protestant and catholics right she may, uh, she was able to maintain the bridge um and uh, she was not biased towards any any particular group and that is the reason that she was able to maintain the peace among the problems what what, what were happening in the uh, in the in, in the religious part now along with all these uh things we can say that there was a rise of powerful literature now 14th century was a time when um yeah uh, that was a time for the poetry romantic era was a time when that when then was the time uh, the, the, that was there, there were so many good poetries 15th century was the time then when there was no poetries 
so there are so many variations when, when we see the whole history of the literature there are so many variations but the elizabeth age was the time which was actually very good with the, all the point of view of literature it was very good with the point of view of poetry it was good with the point of view of drama as well as it was good uh, with the point of view of prose so if we'll see the development of the literature we'll be able to find all these things that they were poet they were good poetry they were good dramas as well as good prose writing and that is the reason that we can say that a rise of powerful literature in the age of elizabeth uh, that particular age of literature and moreover the most important thing is that the great age of drama we can say that this particular age was the great age of drama the point of view of drama there were lots of development which we surely discuss later on another important point another important features of this elizabethan age was enthusiasm there were enthusiasm in the in the writing of the writer there were enthusiasm in the in the local public of um, uh, of the country because as i said that there were peace all over all the problems were getting settled down so there were enthusiasm in the uh, in the public or in the in the in the people who were living there and that enthusiasm was surely it was coming through the different works in the literature now if we talk about particularly the literary features of the elizabethan age as i said there were so many things um in elizabethan age it was related to literature and to understand it properly we'll do one thing we'll divide all these things in the three part number 1 poetry number 2 drama and number 3 is a prose writing so we'll start with the different poets of uh this particular age now we'll start with edmund edmund spencer who was very very famous poet of elizabethan era elizabethan um uh, in in this particular era edmund spencer he was called as poet's poet and he was very famous for one or two poetry of his that was shepherd calendar in that there were to basically there were 12 sections and finally it came out with six and half books no but spencer it was it was said about spencer that um during whole his life he was he was bit he suffered a lot he was very poor and all his work was mostly published after his death so he was a person who was totally unknown when he was living and after his death all his work published and he was famous and he was considered as a poet poet now if we talk about the work of edmund spencer the one i as i said that uh, shepherd's calendar and the another one was fairy queen the whole poetry of the fairy queen is divided into 12 part and basically at the end there are six and half uh, parts the six and half books of this whole fairy queen it's a very 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 long poem and a very famous one of course there are so many other works also about edmund spencer but we have to discuss a lot so uh, we cannot go for all the details the another famous poet was philips sydney now about philip sydney um he was born in you um, know in, in a very rich family of london and he educated he got he got his education from oxford university and he was very good very good friend of spencer now if you talk about the famous work of edmund spencer arcadia was there and basically that was short story and romance further um uh, 
Christopher Stella was there who was written it was written in uh, 1591 then defense of poesy right which is a very great work it is it is considered as a very great work in the in the area of criticism right there are f- further uh, good writers in this particular a that was thomas skelton uh, uh then uh, samuel daniel then chapman right who was a writer of uh, hero and leander and odyssey so all these works are very well known uh, of course shakespeare is also considered as he was considered as a great dramaturg as well as he is also considered as a great poet now about shakespeare uh his life span was 1564 to 1660 now as you all know that shakespeare was a very great dramatist and he was very famous for his dramas along with that he was also famous for his poetry especially sonnets shakespearean sonnets and in total he composed 154 sonnets out of this 154 sonnets 126 sonnets are devoted to dark lady that was made that was mary fitter and the other 5, uh, 26 uh sonnets are dedicated to his friend that was wh along with the shakespeare marlowe was also there who was who has written the hero and the leander and the passionate shepherd of his love so all these famous poets like admin, I, i will i would like to repeat all the name of these poets uh, the, uh, these famous poets of elizabethan era um edmund spencer then um, samuel daniel then william shakespeare marlowe all these poets who who have written so many good poetries in this particular era 